hope you are really doing fine so hope you have also watched the two videos on the tenses right so today we are going to see uh like know the, the other tenses which we left yesterday so basically we'll uh, just have a small review of the last two sessions the first thing is that we have seen there are three tenses they are present tense past tense and future tense and then we have seen that present tense has like no present tense can be like no uh, conveyed in four tenses present simple present progressive or continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous again coming to the past past tense that is past simple past progressive past perfect past perfect continuous or progressive in the same way we have four more tenses in future also that is future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous or future perfect progressive so these are the 12 tenses these are the 12 tenses which are really very very important to us right so from that what we have seen is the present simple okay so present simple we have seen that uh, the formula we have seen it subject plus v1 plus e, s or es plus object okay he plays tennis they play tennis right so these are the different examples we have taken okay that is what we have uh, finished till date right now now what we will do is we will try to see we will try to see what is a present simple and where it is used right so all of you keep your complete uh, concentration on what i'm going to tell you and all always listen and write so that you can easily remember what you are learning okay children said we'll go ahead with the present simple yesterday also we have seen few examples of the present simple okay so basically present simple is used right no when you talk about the habits when you talk about the habits right so we have seen that or oh, for example i write here i i brush my teeth every day so here i brush my teeth every day so it's my daily habit okay i bath every day or daily my father reads newspaper daily so here you can see all the three verbs are in which form v1 form okay so here also we have used the s form okay he goes to church on sundays say so i have in here goes okay so he goes also we even so this is what present simple present simple basically tells about the habits so what are the habits you have regularly which you do so you can tell all those habits in present simple so you need not tell them in any other tense until and unless a question is asked to you like what you were doing yesterday at 7 o'clock i was brushing my teeth at 7 o'clock so that is what you can say but until like no if you want to learn the habits like so you can use only v1 that is in the present simple tense okay children now apart from this apart from this uh habits some facts that is the universal facts uh, for example you can say the sun rises in the east or you can say earth revolves round the sun so revolves rises so these are the universal facts these are the universal facts and these universal facts are like you can tell them in the present simple itself okay children so these are the examples of the present simple okay so now we'll go ahead with the present continuous we'll go ahead with the present continuous
Okay, children, the second one, what we, go, we are going to see is the present continuous, which also be called as the present progressive. So, the present continuous, we also call it as present progressive, right? So, the word progressive itself tells that the work is still going on the action is not yet complete right it is an incomplete action so the action is still going on so uh, when uh, when you get that kind of situation so what you can say is present progressive for example if i ask you what you are doing what are you doing so what is, what is your answer i am listening so what are you doing here i am listening so you are listening here that means is your listening finished no so the word itself says that you are still the still the action okay is going on so it is completely incomplete action it might take some time for you to complete this action okay so whatever the words whatever the said whatever the, the actions which are going on right which are which, which are not complete yet so those kind of uh, uh, situations so like you will tell in the present continuous tense okay now for example I am reading she is buying a pen okay that means she has not yet bought the pen what she is doing she is only just buying the pen okay so whatever the words like now what the sentence is where the action is still going on those kind of sentences are like uh, you will tell in which tense present progressive tense okay and you can say that the things which you are doing now at this point at this point of time right now what you're doing so whatever uh, the question which may be asked to you right, about what you're doing at that particular time so what are the answers you take what are the answers you tell you have to tell in the present continuous tense so what are the actions which are going right now in this present situation so those are written in present continuous tense. Children in the present continuous tense, again, you will take the same subjects that is he, she, Ravi, I, V, they. Okay. So now here when you uh, write about he, Okay, any present continuous tense I'm taking here. He is eating. Okay, so what is the helping verb I'm using here? Is and what is this one? That is V4. Okay, now uh, what is the formula for this? That is subject plus is or R or am plus V4 plus object. So this is the formula here, right? So here he is eating, that is he is okay, is auxiliary verb or the helping verb, and then that is V4. Okay, he is eating food. Okay, this is the object. So here he is eating food. So what I'm what is the uh, verb I'm taking here V4, right? So now when you write the same with C, she, she is eating food. Ravi is eating food. I, when you write with I, you write am. I am eating food. We are, because it is plural, we'll use are here. We are eating food these helping verbs are very very important because we are going to learn the passive voices for all of this so you should be extra careful so they are eating food so here he she and ravi we are using the same auxiliary verb that is is and whereas when you write with i we are using here am when you write with v and they we are using what are okay so you have to keep this in your mind. Okay. He is eating food. She is eating food. Ravi is eating food. I am eating food. 
we are eating food they are eating food and this is the present continuous or present progressive tense okay children okay then now we'll get into the present perfect okay children now we'll study the present perfect present perfect so this present perfect okay this tense is actually used when an action when an action or some work starts in the past starts in the past and ends in present okay ends in present so that means an action has started in the past and then it has ended in the present we'll take one example we'll take one example the train has arrived at the station okay when this particular sentence was said by the time the train has arrived the train has arrived that means it has come on the tracks it has come onto the tracks and like no it has come to the station so it reached the station so somewhere it started somewhere and then by the time he spoke this sentence it has come to the station so it is now standing at the station so it's already arrived so arrived here is a past tense arrived is a past tense but whereas this word it makes it as a present perfect so the train has arrived at the station so this statement is nothing but the present simple present perfect now you can also tell some sentences which happened just now so that is the present perfect tense here right present perfect tense always tells you the things which happened just now so the action has started in the past okay and now it has come to an end so those kind of sentences you will tell in the present perfect tense for example we have seen the train has arrived at the station so the train has already arrived at the station so now this might have taken a very little time the train has come and now this man is talking the or he is uh, telling the uh, information right to the to some of his friends so he say that the train has just arrived the train has just arrived the train has arrived just now at the station okay and also we have seen here there are five friends sitting here and one name is Ravi and he went home and exactly after one minute maybe we will say that he went off to home at five o'clock and his friend came at one o'clock five one and somebody has come to him for uh, for him at five one and asked which is Ravi so you cannot say that he went we went to home okay because it was a very very little time where he has gone to his home so the, the, the action has taken in a very little time so what you can tell here is Ravi has gone to his home just now. Ravi has gone to home just now. Right now, just now, just uh, one minute before he was here, he has just gone to his home. That is how you can direct the action which completed, which started in the past, but completed by the time you talk the sentence, right? You say the situation. So those kind of sentences will like you write in the present uh, perfect. Now, We'll see what is the rule for writing the present perfect and all. So we'll take one example and then we'll finish it off. I'm again taking the he, she, Ravi, I, we, they. We'll take the same example that is eating. He has eaten food. Before that, Subject plus this is has we can we'll also use have plus v3 plus object so has or have plus v3 so that makes the present perfect so these are the two things which we use in the present perfect so he has eaten so when you read with he and the she and any name I have taken Ravi here so it will be same. He has eaten food. She has eaten food. 
Ravi has eaten food. Okay. So now when you write with I, V and they and also you. Okay. I have. I have eaten food. We have eaten food. They have eaten food. You have eaten food. So now see here all these all these sentences like no we are using the helping verb auxiliary verb which is called as has and also have okay and here what we are using here is v3 all are v3 all are v3 so v3 has or have plus v3 that makes the present perfect tense okay children right now so you remember this one which term to use right when it is singular we use has when it is plural we use have i is exceptional i is always exceptional so remember this one okay children right so now we'll see what is present perfect progressive so present perfect continuous right so here when you will use this present perfect continuous when you start an action you start an action in the past and by the time you are telling this the still the action is continuing action is in progress the action is still continuing so action began in some past okay and now the action is still in progress now what do you mean by that okay what is the example you can take here okay so that is what we are going to see now I have been working for two hours. So here see, I have been working for two hours. That means two hours back, that is in the past, he has started this work. And now by the time he is telling this statement, when he is telling this sentence to his friend or he is speaking to his friend, so he is saying that, See, I have been working for two hours. That means even then, even then, even after the two hours also, the work is not yet finished. The work is still going on. The working, the word working shows that the work is still going on. So I have been working for two hours. That means the action started in the past. Two hours in sense, before two hours, the action has started that means he started working and now by the time he is telling the statement when he by the time he is speaking this even then even at the time also the work is still in progress the, the work is still going on that did not finish so these kind of sentences you know, like you will tell in the present perfect continuous okay so we'll take the examples of this has and have will be same right has and have will be same because they are actually whatever what, whatever you have said in the perfect it will remain the same so he has working for two hours okay and here also it will be same no difference here here also no difference here but whereas when you come to i v and they okay what you can see here is i have been working for two hours so what is the only thing which is changing here that is have here he she and ravi we have used a has here but whereas when i v and they we are using have here even also when you write with you also you will use have and if you use it here it should be has so this is how present perfect continuous also comes to an end so uh, children, I hope that you all understood this. Okay, that is the present tense. And I want you to write the examples. Like, no, for each and every tense, write three examples each and uh, post in the group. Okay, children. So, see you then. Until then, have a nice day. See you tomorrow.